Alright, this is just a quick video. I'm going to try and do it as quick as I can. Maybe you could slow it down or maybe follow along. About how I've, I was, this is my own dog and I wanted to get a laser etching. So I just wanted to quickly show my full process of how I would do that. So I only really want a face mainly, so I'm just going to get this rectangle. Drag it out, just down to about here for a minute. I'm going to copy that and paste it onto another layer, just, which is Control S C and then Control V. Turn off the bottom layer. Make sure you're on that layer. Select subject. Hopefully it's selected. Okay, I'm just going to that work. I'll say copy and paste. You could mask it, but that's fine. I'm just going to copy and paste it. Um, now I'm going to quickly crop it in. So there ain't too much extra room. And then I'll zoom in a bit, in a bit so you can see it. I'm going to duplicate it twice. So now I've got three copies. Uh, the top one, Control and I to invert change normal to vivid light come up to filter blur Gaussian blur turn it up till you see a bit of a sketch outline I mean look, I'll just quickly do it if you turn it down you can see it don't quite bring through enough I'll go around about now so I can start to see quite a few details okay Control and click the layer below. So now you've got the two. Control and G, so they're grouped. Pass through, change it to overlay. And now I'll quickly zoom in. If I turn that off, you can see how before it was quite. You can see it does make a big difference, especially for the laser, but anyway. Okay, and then I'll zoom out. Um, now this down the bottom here the adjustment layer you want a black and white adjustment layer up here which then you can mess with these to get better like because the dog's got a lot of like yellowy color in there you can see if I turn down the yellows I'm getting a lot more detail out of there same thing with the reds really like you can see with the eyes are changing you just want to you know get it so it's showing a nice bit of detail and nothing looks too wrong these probably won't change much oh their eyes a little bit okay the last thing I would do on this because it still looks a little bit dark around areas and I can bring some back is I'm going to make a new layer edit fill 50% grey and then change that to overlay <coughs> Oops. and now what the layer down here where you cut out if you control and click on that it'll give you a outline and now you could just mask that so now you ain't got that grey on the outside right now make sure you're on the grey layer uh, get a brush black and white you want a one flow or a very low flow and a very soft brush or all the way down and then now you can use black to bring a few more details back just see because this is very light up the top here and you can see it's brought that back same here if I wanted more detail around here probably needs a bit more and you can see the more I just touch over these like you know it's going to bring them details out more I'll go back a bit I'm going a bit too much there but if it's something like that and it's showing too much just come up to opacity turn it down to maybe 20 or 30 percent and then you can see it's much lighter um this one side of her face is could do with a bit more brightness 
uh, I'm just going to flip this to the white. I'll still leave it on a low opacity. Yeah. You can see it's bringing it now up to the same brightness as the other side of the face. Lighten her nose up a bit so it shows a bit better. Yeah, and that would be about where I'd just now take it into image R normally and just do the differing from there. I've got another video on this and then use the pass through. I'll link the other video above now which will show how to do that. But I just wanted to show the edit because when I first started I was you know struggling to get it right but I find this way you can bring back what details you want and take away what details you don't so like if I wanted less details up here I could just paint over it with white oh I'm still on black paint over it with white you can see it's taking details away now or paint over it with a black and you see it's bringing them back but yeah I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna leave it at that and then I'll print it out in the laser and put my speed and power up on the screen so you can see roughly I just wanted to show my previews in light burn I've got this one uh, let me just quickly go back to Photoshop I had this one uh, not that one. Oh, I I had like this, but let me just quickly do it. The nose was a bit darker. Uh, it was kind of like, and all I've done was come back to Photoshop and just added some more white to the nose. Uh, it don't notice too much in the preview. I'll just quickly show you. This was the original one where I'll show you you'll see on my one of them come out a little bit dark around the nose I mean it doesn't look bad there but the one that I brightened it up is this one below and this one came out better like my opinion I'll show you the two but yeah I just wanted to show that so when you're in <coughs> light burn on pass through mode you should be seeing something like that something like what you want to see the outcome to be so yeah I just wanted to show that so you can see for yourself how it looks in light burn because sometimes if it's zoomed out it just looks dark like it's just going to come out wrong but I find it's good to make it about the size it's going to be in real life which on my screen it looks like about there maybe there so yeah, you can see it does match up pretty well to what it's telling you just wanted to show that, so, alright. Just clearing it off a bit because it starts to leave some lines. I know this one down here. Yeah, and that's how the second one come out. I don't see much of a difference from here, but I'll check the other one. I took the other one indoors, so I'll compare them together. And that's at the settings of 260 speed with 28 power and yeah that worked pretty well for that. <laughs> 